Put in two solid weeks of shooting nothing but 44 Magnum can do some damage to your hands. If you do not have much experience using these powerful rounds, then you might swear off Magnum revolvers forever. But the 44 Magnum is about the biggest caliber any normal or reasonable person would consider owning and shooting. Of course, some people enjoy shooting the 454 Castle or the 460 Smith & Wesson. If you're one of them, then more power to you. I'm happy that you're enjoying shooting these massive calibers. That said, these are specialized loads and are not very common. So the 44 Magnum then, why is it so popular? Well, it's partly thanks to the immortality in pop culture. The cartridge and the guns that use it are also central to the American culture. For instance, the 44 Magnum was the defining cartridge back in the 50s and 60s. Since then, the caliber is not necked down or made smaller and faster. It's remained true to its nature and is large and intimidating. The cartridge itself was born in 1950 when the great Elmer Keith wanted to squeeze more power from a revolver. It packed both the energy and speed that gun owners wanted at the time. Loaded hot, you can take down any big game animals without breaking a sweat. Provided you don't miss. It boasted 767 foot-pounds of energy at 1,200 feet per second. What you get was an excellent round for a hunting sidearm that could save your life in a pinch against a charging bear, boar, or any other angry critter. While there are larger cartridges out there, the 44 Magnum is the Goldilocks of hunting calibers. The Smith & Wesson Model 29 was among the first handguns to take advantage of this round. This blued revolver carried six shots in the cylinder and weighed almost three pounds loaded. Smith & Wesson offered it in various barrel lengths from four to ten inches. One interesting variant of the Model 29 was the Quiet Special Purpose Revolver, or QSPR for short. It saw some action in the Vietnam War, used by the unenviable tunnel rats who specialized in clearing Viet Cong tunnels. The QSRP was designed to be compact but lethal at point-blank range, making it suitable for the job. Chambered in 44 Magnum, the revolver was designed to be relatively quiet as gunshots could be painful and disorientating, when fighting in tight underground tunnels. It achieved about 110 decibels. Though the Model 29 was discontinued, Smith & Wesson decided to put it back into production with various improvements. The Model 29 or any other rifles chambered in 44 Magnum may not win you any shooting competitions. However, when your life is on the line, I'd pick this cartridge. Other than that, there are some other reasons why the 44 Magnum is so great and why will it never become obsolete. Availability. There are so many 44 Magnum rounds out there that you might find a couple under a rock in your backyard. Not only are they readily available in countless loads, but in case the local gun store does not stock the specific load you want, you can also get components to hand load yourself at home. Not to mention, case life is obscenely long, so you can make the most out of this non-bottleneck straight wall cartridge. Fun to shoot. The recoil can be both an advantage and a drawback. You either love it, or you hate it. You might love the thrill of recoil when shooting massive X-frame Smith & Wesson revolvers. However, when a bear comes charging at you, you want to make sure that you can put one between its eyes. To make matters worse, you need to nail it within a few seconds, and you're only going to get one shot, while also firing double action. In such a case, the odds are not really in your favor. When it comes to self-defense, it's nothing like shooting single action in a controlled environment like a gun range. Simply put, while shooting large guns chambered in equally large calibers such as the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum can be fun, not everybody can tolerate its wrist-breaking recoil. And in a survival situation, no one is going to pick that massive caliber either. At the end of the day, shot placement matters. It does not matter if you have a revolver chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson if the best you can do is to give your attacker a haircut when you whiff your shot while you could have put one between his eyes with a 9mm. Of course, a 9mm would not stop a charging bear, so round's power comes second after shot placement. This is where the 44 Magnum comes into play. It packs enough punch to stop a bear, and will not destroy your wrist in the process. You cannot go wrong with the 44 Magnum. Knockdown power and accuracy. Back then, rifles that were chambered in 44 Magnum cartridges had poor shot grouping. That used to be the case, but not anymore. Many modern rifles and 44 Magnum managed to achieve good accuracy, making the cartridge viable again. Fired from a long barrel, 
you'll be hard-pressed to find a better deer or hog rifle other than those chambered in the 44 Magnum. The 44 Special The 44 Special is the predecessor or the powerful 44 Magnum, but that does not mean the former is overshadowed by the latter. The Special is still great in most 44 Magnum weapons, so what is the difference between the two? What is so special about the 44 Special? I mentioned at the start that shooting 44 Magnum rounds for a long time can cause some discomfort. Well, yes, you get a big gun and it goes boom, and it's fun for a while, but it leads to fatigue pretty fast. This is where the 44 Special comes in. It's lighter on the recoil, making it the best round for target shooting, so you can save the 44 Magnum for hunting or self-defense. Many manufacturers opted to use cowboy loads for the 44 Special, making it ideal for smaller work. For comparison, the 44 Special is to the 44 Magnum like the 38 Special is to the 357 Magnum. However, there is a tiny difference. Rounds and 38 Special are easy to come by and cheaper than their big brothers. Rounds and 44 Special are harder to find and do not give a big financial advantage. Modern Technology Thanks to advancements in technology, some older cartridges are getting a second chance. And some have become quite successful. One such cartridge is the 44 Magnum. When you're out hiking in bear country or hankering for some big game animals, you've got a lot of ammo to choose from now. Many manufacturers are hard at work trying to outdo each other. This is great for us consumers because we are seeing new and improved rounds that improve your shooting experience. Now we get better hollow point, self-defense ammo as well as stronger Miplat bullets that can take down any angry critters you might run into. For instance, Hornady now offers polymer-tipped cartridges that offer greater ballistic performance compared to traditional soft point or hollow point designs, which makes it perfect for hunting deer. Options You have a lot of firearms to choose from. Many reputable firearm manufacturers offer their products on 44 Magnum. You can get the Magnum Research Desert Eagle Mark 19 semi-auto pistol, Ruger Red Hawk, Magnum Research BFR, Smith & Wesson 29 Revolver, Taurus Tracker, and the list goes on. Your options are not limited to pistols and revolvers either. Brands such as Winchester, Marlin, and Henry Arms also offer their rifles in 44 Magnum. Conclusion And there you have it, folks. These are a few reasons why I believe the 44 Magnum is better than ever. Thanks to technological advancements, the cartridge is much more versatile now. It nails that balance between availability, which keeps the cost down, and recoil, which determines accuracy without dropping the fun factor. Get yourself a trusty revolver or rifle chambered in 44 Magnum, and I guarantee you that it can handle pretty much everything you have to throw at it.